All right, so check it out. This, this morning we went. This morning we went. To, we went shallow off the west side and I know the boys and uh, they had a half decent bite this morning but it just really really died off and you know what where are we going we're going north that's right we're gonna go north where there's less pressure I know there is some current where we are going so you got to be careful when you're going out there uh, but we are not taking trucks we are taking our obviously our quads and our side by side so uh, we're hoping to get on to an epic bite this afternoon it's gonna be about a half an hour drive from here and then once we get there it's on like Donkey Kong. Yeah. We are north, north. We're trying to bypass all the nets, try to get to low pressure. So we decided to make a move, load up all the good stuff, all the toys. Took the one hour to drive up here. We're ready to rock. Got my boy Chad. He's new to the group this year. How you doing, buddy? Good. You ready to rock it? You betcha. We got Mr. Switter over there. How you doing, bud? Travis, you, you met Travis yeah, in the gosh. truck. And then Hub, Hub's over there. Hey guys. Hi, hi. Let's Morning do love. this. Let's get this party started because I want to go catch fish. This one feels decent. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> there you go. A little better. Better than what we're getting over there. <laughs> You're not seeing too many of these around anymore. Uh, I mean, pushing up north. Uh, where there's no pressure both from recreational and commercial fishing you're gonna see a lot more sizes like this hopefully hopefully um, hit the live target come coming in at about 18 feet so let's get it back in the water there you go oh <laughs> look at that off the, little ones. off the bottom brother it was suspended suspended nice Oh, dude, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh it's so slimy. <laughs> Stinking tail. I want to eat that. I want to eat that. Mm. Mm. Tasty. Taste. Poor man's lobster. Woo! Ooh. There you go. On the Northland. Oh, there's another one over there. Look at that. Ooh, double header. <laughs> oh, but way smaller. I got a double header. Oh, talk to me, brother. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Out doggy, bro. Look at that beast. Look at that little piggy. Where'd she come off the bottom? Uh, all over. All over. How long did you work this oh. one? Three or four minutes. Three or four minutes. It's working it, eh? It's up and down. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, oh beauty. <laughs> Gone, brother. There you go, pound doggies. That a boy. Ah, you want to see that kind of stuff happen? That's what we like. We've been working this area here for the last two, three hours. A bunch of little eaters here and there. I mean, I got a couple good ones, and then Chad's like, I got a pig. There you go. That's the one. Come on. What the? Yes! 
like on fire here. Oh. So, you could obviously tell a Minnesotan when you see one, because I told Pat, I go, honestly, Pat, we don't eat these. And Pat's like, oh no, in Minnesota, we eat these. And I was like, oh man, look at these slobs. Those are nice. Tanks. Tanks. It has been a phenomenal day up here. Uh, I'm just gonna guess uh, 40, 50 fish. For yourself? Yeah. That a boy, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm not up to 40, I'm maybe about 30. We're, we're not into the big fish, obviously, but uh, they, those little ones are fun too. They are, and you get to keep your three eel pout that you wanted to eat so badly today. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Is it Pat that's been stealing all your fish? Pat has done very well right there. He's done very well right there. Ooh. It's doing vermouth-ish. Oh. oh no, you actually got a walleye. He should be a little bigger, eh? Look That's at that, your shabby. custom Wonder Bread live target. I like that. Oh, ripping, little... ra ripping. Yeah, DH custom baits. Very nice. Beauty. There you have it guys, you know what? End of day one with Big China and the boys from Minnesota. Uh, so we did go up north. We went north, north of Gimli, and in search of unpressured fish. And you know what, I think we found some. I mean, Pat had some good numbers. How'd you do today, Pat? Say 40, 50 or 40, 50 range? still, and like Shannon, Shannon over there is about 498. <laughs> 497. 497, no. <laughs> and then Travis here got about five. Yep. So he just couldn't do it and Chad, Chad got that big girl. So you know what? Same thing. We came out here. Uh, we had a good day fishing. Uh, it wasn't just a sunset bite or a morning bite. We had a good bite throughout the whole entire day. Uh, the, the, the ice though is a little sketchy at places. So like I do say, when you are heading out end of March, make sure you use precaution. Uh, check all your ridges when you're going over them. And you know what, like at the end of the day, it's just a fish, so you don't really need to sacrifice any of your toys. And I would definitely not drive out here. <laughs> no. no, I mean, like, I, we felt we were a little sketchy on our quads and our side-by-sides, but uh, I had a great time with you boys. Day two, tomorrow's the last day with the crew. So we're going to go back home. We're going to check out what the game plan is. So stick around. We're going to see what's going to go on. Other than that, I'm out of here. Peace.